Hey guys, to celebrate Veterans Day, I thought it would be fun to draw a silhouette of a soldier saluting. I hope you're going to follow along with me. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get started. For this video, I'm drawing on Canson marker paper. That's because we're going to use our markers to color in the silhouette at the end. I also have a bowl that I'm using for a template to draw a circle. We're going to place our, our soldier inside of the circle. So first, let's turn our bowl over. And we're going to use our pencil to draw all of the main shapes first. And I'm right-handed, so I'm going to press down with my left hand to keep the bowl from moving and reach around as far as I can to trace around the bowl in one stroke. There we go. And we can put the bowl off to the side. Now let's draw our soldier inside. We're going to draw a oval shape for his head. I'm going to draw it towards the top and we're going to draw it in the middle of our paper. And it's okay if these lines are messy. We're just trying to get the main shapes. Then on the side of his head, I'm going to draw it coming straight up from the side of the oval. And then we're going to draw the top of his hat. We're going to curve out on the sides, come back and then curve in on the other side. Then we can also give him ears. Then his neck, I'm going to draw two vertical lines coming down. Then let's draw his shoulders. We'll draw a line coming across and we're going to go past his head on each side or past the width of his head on each side. And then we're going to turn this into a rectangle shape so we can draw the sides of his body coming down to his waist. And instead of coming straight down, let's bring these coming in so that his waist is more narrow and we can erase any extra lines that we don't want to keep. Then right here, we'll have a belt. Although this is going to be a silhouette, we might just see the little bump out on each side for the belt. Then we can draw the bottom of his uniform coming out slightly where his hips would be. And then we can draw his legs coming in or down the rest of the way and connecting to the bottom of the circle. Okay, now his arms, we're going to draw his shoulder coming down and his arm to about here where his hips would be and then we'll connect it back in. Maybe there would just be a small little bit of white space that we can see in between his arm and his body. And then his hand, we'll have it tucking into his uniform. Okay, now let's draw his arm coming up to salute and we're going to draw it high. So we're going to cut straight across. Then we're going to have it bending. And then this is where his sleeve will be. So we'll draw that coming back to his elbow and then into his armpit. Now, anytime during this lesson, if I'm going too fast or if you want to work on the lines longer than what I'm doing, you can always pause the video and take that extra time. Now we're going to draw his wrist coming out from his uniform and then we're going to draw his hand saluting and we're going to draw it coming to a point and then right here we could also draw his thumb sticking out a little bit further at the bottom and we got it oh let's add on his uniform sometimes they have a part sticking up on their shoulder. And let's smooth out some of these lines. So we're going to have the elbow come down. Maybe this part where it comes into his suit in his armpit area, it gets thicker. Then we can also make instead of straight lines, we can curve these lines a little more so that they look natural. Then we'll bump out for that belt. Then the bottom of his uniform comes down. And instead of his legs being straight, we'll maybe add a curve to those, to those lines. I think I want his arm, this arm to come down a, a little bit longer. So I'm going to extend his sleeve down and then we'll have his hand come past his uniform and connect to his leg. This is really the fun part. You can spend a little extra time working on the lines and getting them just the way that you want them. I'm going to erase this part that's showing in between the arm and his uniform and 
put it down further. Maybe it's right here. Also, I think with his head, I'm gonna make it a little thinner. So it's not as round or cartoony. So we're gonna come in and straight instead of rounded. And then I'm gonna make his ears smaller. I really wanna challenge you guys to also take that extra time to change your drawing. Maybe you could add different things, like you could add a flag or other soldiers in the background. I also think my soldier is a little tipped, but that's okay, <laughs> we're gonna keep it just like this. Now let's switch to our marker and we're gonna fill in our soldier, the silhouette. Now that we have him colored in, I'm gonna to switch to my eraser and erase the extra pencil lines that you can still see. Also, I wanna mention that even though I'm, I'm drawing a male soldier, you could change this into a female soldier if you wanted. And the next time that I draw this silhouette, I think I would draw so this shoulder looks a little high. I would probably draw it more at an angle coming down. So it looks more natural. But that's okay, we're just practicing. Don't worry about trying to make your drawings look perfect. The most important thing is to have fun and practice. Now I'm gonna color in the circle, but I also wanna leave a white border going all the way around him so that he still stands out. I'm gonna bring the bowl back so that I can trace around and make the edge of the circle look perfect. We did it, we finished drawing our silhouette of a saluting soldier and it turned out super cool. This is one of my new favorite lessons. And remember, you could do other things to this lesson. You don't have to color it black. You could use blue and red. You could even change the circle so that it's a flag or even add military vehicles or other soldiers in the background. And also, like I mentioned earlier, you could change your soldier to be female. And I hope you had a lot of fun following along with me. I also wanna take a minute to say thank you to all of the veterans out there. We're really grateful for your service. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye.